Hello from City Inc Express. On this video I will explain how to refill a HP 62 cartridge. Our refill kit is equivalent in volume to over 33 standard carts. Alternatively if you normally use the XL version it's over 13. How much would that normally cost you? We also offer an XL version of this kit that will give you our lowest ongoing running cost per cart containing double the amount of ink and is equivalent in volume to over 66 standard or over 27 XL carts with a typical ink shelf life of 3 years plus. So plenty of time to get those prints done. There are two ways to refill a cartridge. Option 1 is through the label. The colored dots here show the positioning. If you rub your finger over this area and press down you will be able to feel the holes underneath the label. Option 2 is with no label fitted. Again the colored dots show the refill points. Note the standard and XL versions have a different refill color order. In the genuine carts the standard normally contains 4.5 ml of ink and 6 in the high yield version. This is what the top of the cartridge looks like on the standard and XL versions. If you were to remove the lid, you would see the sponges which are normally saturated with ink. This is the part that gets refilled. Place the tissue underneath the cartridge and place the blunt fill needle on the syringe. If you are refilling the cart with a label on, pierce the hole with the included pin. In the marked position here. If your cartridge has no label on, the ink can be injected directly into these holes. The standard can accept 7 mil which is 2.5 in each of the yellow and cyan and 2 in the magenta. The XL version can accept 14 which is 4.5 in each of the cyan and magenta and 5 in the yellow. When you insert the syringe, push it down then draw it back a fraction to prevent the sponge from blocking the tube. Then inject slowly in the holes shown. Giving the sponge time to soak it up. This will also minimize the risk of an overfill. Do not fill in the holes marked with a cross sign on the cartridge as there may be no sponge underneath inside. After refilling the cartridge wipe any excess ink from the top, making sure it's dry. Then place the adhesive stickers over the refill hole and smooth over with thumb or finger to create an airtight seal. With the cartridge full of ink, it just needs priming which aids ink flow. You have a clip and rubber seal which looks like this. Load the seal into the clamp with the narrow lip at the back. Then lock the cartridge in place so it's clipped in fully. If you look underneath the clamp you can see this hole. This is your priming hole where you will insert your syringe to draw out a small amount of ink and prime. It's as easy as that. After insertion into the printer you will be presented with a screen similar to this one. It warns of a depleted or used cartridge. Clicking yes would disable the cartridge and clicking no would allow you to continue to print. This is a different version of the same screen depending on your printer model. Clicking ok will allow you to continue to print. You can now look forward to reducing your printing costs, thanks for watching.